Hi and welcome to this playlist on completing the square. In this particular uh, video we're going to be looking at this question where we're given x squared plus 6x minus 20 and we're asked to put it into a different form. So we're not actually changing the equation, we're just going to put it in a different way. And this is called completing the square and it's kind of useful for this bit where we're going to solve it, in other words we're going to work out the two values of x. Okay, so the first thing is, is this bit in the form. Okay, so the easiest way of doing this is to take the first bit of the equation and I'm going to change it to x plus 3 and I'm going to square that. So what you actually need to do is to take this number 6 and half it. So if it's a plus 6, half it to plus 3. If it's a minus 8, half it to minus 4 and then square it. Okay, now let's just have a look at that for a moment. So if I decide that I'm going to actually work that out, what I end up with is x plus 3 times x plus 3. So if we follow that through, we've got x times x is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, so in other words, what we've got is this x plus 3 squared is absolutely fine up until that point, but not going to work for that. So if we're going to make this in the same form, we're not going to change the equation at all. We need to get rid of this 9, so we minus 9 at that point. Okay, so in other words, if we do this and we factorise this out, we multiply it out, we're going to get x squared plus 6x. However, we've also got this minus 20, so I need to take that into account as well. So I'm going to minus 20 at that side. Okay, and then it's just really a case of tidying this up. So I'm going to leave this as x plus 3 squared, and I've got minus 9 minus 20 is minus 29. So in other words, the value of p in this particular equation is going to be positive 3, and the value of q is going to be minus 29. And you might be expected to write that on the actual exam paper. Okay, so the last bit of this is hence or otherwise solve the same equation. But what you'll notice this time is that it equals to zero. So in other words, what we're saying is, is if this equation um, has a shape a bit like that, because it's a quadratic equation, at that point where y equals zero, so in other words, it's gone along, but it's not actually gone up into the uh, the y-axis, what's the value of these two points? And we can actually use this whole idea of completing the square in order to solve that. It's just really using a little bit of algebra. Let's go through it. So we've got x plus 3 squared minus 29, which is the other form, the completing the square form of this. And we're told that it equals 0, so it equals 0. Brilliant. So it's now just really a case of solving this for finding the value of x. Well, I don't want the minus 29 there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add 29 to both sides. If I add 29 to both sides, it means this cancels out, and I get left with x plus 3 squared equals 29. Okay. If you're not sure about what I'm doing here, if you have a look at some of my videos on linear equations, that will help. Okay, so I've got a square here. Well, I'm going to square root it. Again, both sides, because I don't want that square there. I'm just going to end up with x plus 3, and that equals the square root of 29. Okay, so you hopefully can see where this is going now, that the square root of 29, um, well, square roots tend to be plus or minus, because the square root, let's say, of 25 is plus 5 times plus 5, or it's minus 5 times minus 5. OK, so this square root of 29 will be a plus or a minus. OK, let's have a look at this x. Uh, we want to get x on its own. I'm going to minus 3 from both sides. So x equals minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 29. And that actually solves this particular question. So what we're saying is, is that there's two values of x. The first value of x, I'll have to write it up here, the first value of x is equal to minus 3 plus 
the square root of 29. If you want to pop that in a calculator very, very roughly, that's minus 3 plus, let's say this is 25, so minus 3 plus 5 is going to be plus 2, so it's roughly about that point there, very approximately plus 2, okay? And the other value is x equals minus 3 minus the square root of 29, so that's going to be minus 3 minus 5, very roughly it's going to be round about minus 8, so this point here will be about minus 8 and this point about plus two, very roughly. Okay, but obviously you'll get a more accurate value if you pop that into a calculator. Okay, so that's completing the square. There's quite a few other videos in this particular playlist. I hope it's been helpful to you. Please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.